to diary sessions with Urel. I've been asked so many questions. Um, are you looking for love? Since you left the Big Brother house, have you found anybody? Have you been on dates? I have not told mm. me. I still day here. I still here. Like I say, everything is just like when it comes to that part of my life is dry. It is like. Uh, what that thing I used to make soup? Um, is it Utazi? Yes, Utazi. Is it Utazi? I think used to make soup so dry. Or when you now see bitter leaf, bitter leaf, and it's not—it's not it's now very, very dry, very, very dry like this. It'll just be like this. That's my love life. My love life is like that. So zero, zero, zero point zero. But I still have prospects, and I still have high hopes, and. Um, why am I blushing? Like, I don't even know why I'm blushing talking about this. Because my love life is like this. And I'm still laughing and I'm smiling like, hee <laughs> hee Yes. I don't know if I have anybody. I don't have anybody at then, Joe. Anywho, um, yeah, so guys, I'm still single. So, hollow me, 999-911. Hollow me, damn. <laughs> so, um, love. I don't know. What is my take on love? Um... One thing I hate is when you meet somebody and like two weeks, maybe even two weeks, two weeks is too soon, a week, and they use that word, love. Baby, I love you. Uh, hi, Malicha. Hey, tomato juice. Um, my, oh my gosh, the worst thing ever. Oh my gosh. I met this guy here yeah, before I went to the people of the house. And this guy, evil guy, of course, and not of course, but I'll tell you what I mean by of course. Only an evil guy will say such a thing. I think anyways. So I met this guy, and this guy, hi! Hey, what's that kid one, yeah? Mm, I like you. I don't like you, gay. Hey, I like you. So I was talking, and everything like that. Young guy! But I just like the fact that he was so idiotic. And I was like, how can somebody be so cute and everything and just be like this? But hey, cool. So we went out for drinks and everything, and um, I went home, he now called me. You know how you're just chilling on your bed, and you're just gisting with that guy after you just finished a nice romantic meal and everything? And I was like, okay, maybe I can just see past his, his erotic behavior mm -hmm. and his crocodile shoe. Maybe I'll see past his crocodile <laughs> See past his crocodile shoe. So anyway, this guy calls me, yeah, and I was talking, I was like, hi, and he was like, hey. Tumato, hey, tumato, bomb. I was like, okay, I was like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Talking to him, and then this guy was like, hey, you know what, eh? You know what? Ibu man, a goosey, eh? You are the hottest, hottest a goosey in Lagos. How can I be the hottest a goosey in Lagos? I said I've heard everything. That one, he could see. I said, I had to tell him, um, 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 excuse me, um, yeah, um, Mecca, it was really nice talking to you, yeah? Mecca's not his real name, because I had to, like, not expose him. It was really nice talking to you, but um, I'm really kind of tired. So anytime he now called me, I'll just put busy, can you call me later? Busy, can you call me later? Busy, I can't talk now, call me back later. Why would you call me a goosey? Which, pa which part of my body looks like a goosey? I think you could have said Bomo, you could have said, um, Okay, he called me a goosey. You know how a goosey is pro 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 like that. So maybe he saw the satellite on my thighs. So he called me a goosey. Yeah, I don't know. But that was the last time I spoke to him and I was over that. So I hate guys when they call me pet names, a goosey, tomato, this, that, that. My name is Urel. Call me Urel. And what else makes me um annoyed? Oh my god, one thing you should never do when it comes to love. One thing you should never do when it comes to love, dating, is dating your friend's ex. That is a no. Yo, your friend's ex? Your your ex, your ex's friend. That is like a huge no-no. You don't do that. I remember when I first broke up with my ex-boyfriend. I don't care. I'm going to expose him because he deserves it. How dare you? You send me a freaking DM. Who sends you a DM? Don't send me a DM. Like, how retarded are you? Don't excuse me. But that is just ridiculous. You send me a DM. After I break up with my boyfriend that I was with for like years, five years, I was like, hey, hey, you know what? You know I've always liked you. 
Magia Kante. If I slap you, if I slap that to your face, eh, you disappear and you end up in a Enugu and you'll be carrying bread on your head. Rubbish man. How can you DM me after I broke up my boyfriend for five years? You now tell me that eh, you know I'm liking you, that there's nothing wrong about being friends. I'm not even gonna give him any more fame because I just wanna I just wanted to put that out there. You do not date your ex-boyfriend's friend or your ex-girlfriend's friend. That's like a huge no 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 scrub. Anywho, and then another thing I'm gonna talk talk about is okay, so I Somebody sent me a message on uh, Instagram. <sighs> hey! And said to me, you well. Please, I like you so much. I like you in the big brother house. Hey! Good sound. Mm -hmm. People come to my aid, come to my aid. And they said to me, am I into the business of... <coughs> am I into the business of... <coughs> of a uh, sugar mommy? Am I into the business of sugar mommy? That was the exact words. Is it because I just turned 13 and people the house that my eyelashes is even falling off? Jesus. See my eyelash. Hey! They told me not to buy uh, eyelashes from Lagos Island Market and I listened to them. See the, see, see the lashes. Anyway, shall let me just continue. He said, Am I into the business of sugar mommy? And I now said, Excuse me. I don't understand what you mean to be the sugar mommy. He said, because he likes me and he would like to have me as a sugar mommy. Me that I left the big brother house at group number six. I did not receive shishi. I did not receive one kobo. I did not receive anything. I did not win the money, yo. I did not win any 25 million. They want to come and carry the small, small, small check that I'm receiving. Before I entered the big brother house, I, I, I told them already that, see me, I'm talking with one eyelash. I already told them that, me, I don't get house before I enter the big brother house. I did not find the people house. So the most more money that I have saved up, I want to come and use it so I can be a sugar mommy. I want to come and 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 and, and destroy my 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 operative destiny. That's what you want to come and do, sugar mommy. I don't want to be a sugar mommy. I'm still trying to find my life. Is it because I'm now a tatty? I'm not qualified. The funny thing is, it's not even funny. So the funny thing is, if you see this guy, he looks like. If I give him that chance to even kiss me, if I give him that chance to kiss me, <laughs> if I give him that chance to kiss me, hey, it will be the worst mistake I make in my life. He looks like this guy, once he holds my mouth, his mouth was so big. Once he holds my mouth, eh, hey, oh God, that bomb, that will charm my whole body, finish my whole body. Hey, a mecca. I know I keep using a mecca as a name. But that guy, hey bro, no, I'm not into the business of sugar mommy, no honey, I'm not, I'm still trying to find myself, I'm still trying to hustle, and I'm still trying to find myself, so, that concludes my diary session of love, and I don't want to be a sugar mommy, I beg, I don't want to be a sugar mommy, or no, 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 so guys, thank you for watching diary session, let's take that again, thank you for watching, Diary sessions with you all, and I'll see you next time. Take care, guys. Bye. I just literally fell off.